Arbor Realty Trust stock, ticker symbol ABR. This stock is up 4% year to date, underperforming the overall market big time. On the 28th of July, ABR presented quarter results where they beat on EPS and revenue. For the upcoming earnings, analysis think they will miss the estimates. People love ABR stock because of multiple reasons, and one of them being the dividend. And I understand why with dividend yield at 12% and a great dividend growth track record. So could this be the perfect moment to buy ABR stock? Well, I'm very excited to see what you guys think about this stock, so please let me know your thoughts in the comments. My name is Thomas and this is Thomas Invest. I'm an investor looking for great stocks at great prices. So what does ABR do? Arbor Realty Trust is a specialized real estate finance company. And this is very important. It is not a REIT, but a finance company. It invests in a diversified portfolio of structured finance assets in the multifamily and commercial real estate markets. If we dive in the most recent earnings report, we see that ABR reported a net income of $0.41 per share and distributable earnings of $0.57 per share. They also raised the cash dividend with one cent, equal to a 2% increase. This results in a 75% payout ratio, which is very nice. In here we see that ABR is focusing on the multifamily homes. Roughly 90% of the asset class is focused on multifamily homes. Texas and Florida make up roughly 51% of the portfolio in terms of geolocation. And 68% of the agency servicing is FNMA. In here we see the results one more time. Interest income year over year increased quite significantly, but so did the expenses. Net interest income did increase down the line, which is very nice. We also see that earnings per share is actually down year over year, while dividends are increasing. Distributable earnings are increasing, which is very nice. Earlier we saw that payout ratio is around 75% based on this number. And now that we know more about the company, it's time to check the fundamentals of this stock. But first, if you made it this far into the video, I want to thank you a lot for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel to receive multiple analysis every week. And also join my Discord channel for free to meet other people within the community and to talk about stocks. It's completely free so don't miss it out. Let's continue by diving into the fundamentals. ABR is a 2.5 billion market cap company. PE ratio is at 7 which could indicate that there are undervalued right now. Later in this video I will show you my 3 price targets for ABR stocks, so make sure to watch until the end. Because PE ratio is only telling a small part of the full story here. Revenue is at 686 million, and in this graph we see that revenue went up in the long run. Over a longer period of time, margins are pretty steady I would say. So to me, this looks pretty good. But keep in mind that ever since 2021, it is decreasing. EPS is following the same pattern as the margins and revenue. Nothing really special to be honest. Analysis expect big differences in EPS growth in the coming years. So this is really interesting. For the revenue it is a pretty similar story, but it is looking a little bit better I would say. In both cases, in 2024 it's gonna be a tough year. Return on assets is sitting at 1.4% which is a low number. Return on equity looks really good. And since this is a finance company, we don't have a ROIC. Current ratio is at 4.4, which is looking a little bit too high in my opinion. Right now, ABR has 12.69 billion in debt. I prefer companies that can pay down at least a big chunk of their total debt with the total cash. ABR has 847 million in total cash, so they can't pay down a big chunk of their total debt. This is something that I don't like. So it is very important that free cash flow is growing, since this is used to pay down debt of course, but also to buy back shares, pay dividends and all other things. And here we see that free cash flow is going up and down in the long run, but in general I would say it's going up. Shares outstanding are increasing, which is not a good thing, but companies like ABR increase shares to raise capital. 
but when shares outstanding are decreasing, it increases your ownership in the company, increases the EPS, lowers the PE ratio, and makes it easier to maintain and increase the dividends. And since we're talking about dividends anyways, dividend yield is sitting at 12%, which is a great number. Annual payout is at $1.72 and payout ratio is at 75%, and not the 95% displayed here. I prefer 50% or lower, so right now they have 25% left in cash to buy back shares, pay down debt, do acquisitions, and all other things. The 5 year growth rate is at almost 13%, which is a great number. And they increased the dividends for 9 years in a row, which is also very nice. And if you take a look at these numbers, the dividends paid since 2012, you see that ABR did increase the dividends at a decent rate overall. In this graph we see the expected dividends in 2023, 2024 and 2025. Of course this is an estimation and can be highly impacted by results, but it gives you a rough indication. It's expected to grow at similar growth numbers, which is very nice. Overall, these dividends look pretty good to me, but how about the historical returns? I decided to compare ABR stock with the overall market, in this case the S&P 500. On the 5 year chart we see that ABR beats the S&P 500 big time by almost twice the amount. And this number is including dividends. In total, ABR returned 105% versus the S&P 500 sitting at roughly 60%. On the 1 year chart it looks pretty similar, with the S&P 500 returning 21%, while ABR is again having almost twice the amount of return, with almost 41%. On the 6 month chart it is again ABR that is having great returns, 33% in total, versus the S&P 500 sitting at 5%. On the 1 month chart it is starting to get interesting, with ABR sitting at minus 10% while the S&P 500 is sitting at minus 5%. So bottom line, ABR beats the S&P 500 long term with almost twice the return, but most recently it is lagging behind. So could this be the perfect time to buy ABR stock? Well, let's check the 3 price targets that I created using the Everything Money software, which is one of the best tools out there. I'm using a low, mid and high assumption to get the 3 price targets. Starting off with revenue growth. For the revenue growth I'm filling in 8, 10 and 12% based on the historical performance, the Roan outlook, but also because of the analysis. For the profit margin I'm filling in 44, 46 and 48%. And for the free cash flow margin I'm putting in slightly higher numbers. For the PE ratio and the price to free cash flow I'm putting in 7, 8 and 9. My desired annual return is 15%, since I can get an easy 10% average annual return with owning an ETF. Usually I put in 12.5%, but I want to have a higher margin of safety with this company. Right now ABR stock is at $13.93. I hit analyze, and we only see green numbers. We have a low price target of $14.5 to $16.5. We have a mid price target of $18 to $20 and we have a high price target of $22 to $25. To me, the low price target is the most justified here, indicating that this stock is undervalued. And to be honest, I'm being a bit conservative here. So my final conclusion is that I do like this company, it is currently in my portfolio and with reason. Dividends are at an insane level, so that is one of the main reasons. So to me, it is very important that dividends are safe. And with payout ratio sitting at a steady 75%, I'm feeling comfortable. Next to that, from a value point of view, things also look pretty good, even when being conservative. Most fundamentals also look good, except for the current debt levels. This is something that concerns me a bit. For now, I'm slowly adding more shares when the price drops. To me, this is a high risk, high reward stock, so I'm keeping this one under 5% of my total portfolio. And remember to always do your own research and never fully trust on what I or other YouTubers say about the stock. I'm not a financial advisor and this content is just for entertaining purposes only. I hope you liked this video and I did bring some insights of the company to you. I'd really appreciate a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to get notified when I'm posting a new video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video.